Well, we shopped at Trader Joe last night. Well, normally we just shop at Costco, but lately we start to discover Trader Joe, and then there are lots of unique stuff we find. And this is eggnog we've been looking for, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This one is with the rum and um, brandy. Brandy, yeah. They also have. Yeah, they had a, another version of this, and it had a wine, wine base, which I thought was a little strange. So we went the traditional route instead. Yeah, looking forward to sit in front of fireplace and drinking this, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> yep. But the one we saw at the grocery store seems to have a lot of, like uh, unwanted ingredients. This one seems pretty. Yeah, simple. this this one's yeah pretty simple, which and is how nice. How much is this one? Uh, I think that was eight ninety nine. Oh, okay. Well, since we start with liquor, then that's just the liquor <laughs> first. This is another item we find. Yeah, I, I wasn't intending to buy liquor, but then I saw this in the store, this single malt whiskey, and it was seventeen ninety nine. It's pretty cheap, right? Yeah, yeah, for single malt, that's really cheap. So I've never had this before, so I thought, you know, eighteen bucks, I'll give it a whirl and see how it goes. Oh, we only got two liquors. That yeah, only two. <laughs> yeah, only two liquors this time. <laughs> and then I find this juice because I was looking for peach juice, but then I find pineapple juice instead. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this one actually, it was. They said it's hundred percent pineapple juice. Well, I opened last night and I tried. It's hundred percent pineapple juice, and it's not from concentrate. So they made that from fresh fruit directly. Mm -hmm. So that's good. There's like four bottles for like $4, four dollars, right? Yeah. Four cans for four dollars. Not so bad. Mm -hmm. And another drink we got is this ginger drink. Yep, which I have been using to mix with Irish whiskey because I just can't control myself. Well, I can I can just drink it directly. <laughs> yeah. But but we bought a bottle of this before and I bought it with that intent was to mix it with whiskey, but it is actually good just to drink. Well, look the ingredients you can see. It's car yeah. carbonated water, yeah. ginger. What else is in there? Yeah, it's just like ginger beer. Ginger beer? Yeah. Oh, this one has pineapple juice, lemon juice, um, natural flavor, black pepper. Well, they put black pepper yeah that's a little strange yeah i don't know yeah. i guess that's to give it a little more spiciness but you can get lots of health benefit from this ginger stuff i was just reading um this miso ginger miso. Breath. miso. Yep. <laughs> another ginger this one i was planning to do uh ramen noodle because mm -hmm. i did it before it was very easy just pour that in and put ramen mm -hmm. and then just add a few ingredients this is like one ninety nine, I think. Right? Yeah. yeah. Yep. What else in this bag? Ooh. Well, that's not from Trader Joe's. Oh. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> that's from Sam's Club. Okay. This one. This is from Trader Joe, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I I get these every year. It's kind of like a, a German holiday cookie that you find in the stores. Um, but a lot of times they're pretty expensive. Like if you go to Cost Plus and get them, they're like six bucks for a little pack. These were like three fifty. Oh, you know this history? They said for over six hundred years of history mm -hmm. on this one. Yeah, yeah. So, so these cookies. I I don't know about these specifically, but I've had cookies like this before, and it's it's kind of a Nuremberg, Germany thing. Um, at one point, I actually worked with some folks that were from Nuremberg, and. They brought me a batch from Nuremberg on the plane and they were just so good. And I got hooked on them. And that's the ingredients. I don't care about the ingredients. <laughs> I just care about the taste. Well, this is the, is the history on the side? Uh, I think so, yeah. Yeah, this is the history. Can you see? Uh, not really. Anyway, it's, the key thing is 600 years. Yes. And we also got a few veggies. Shishitos. Yeah. And yeah. then Brussels sprout. This is organic. Yep. Um, I don't like the frozen one. The frozen one make it very mushy. Mushy, yeah, when you cook. And another thing I find is the um the cilantro in the back. Oh, I should grab this one. Cilantro in the back. Mm -hmm. I mean I can find cilantro anywhere, but this one seems very fresh and then it seems like it can keep longer because it's in this already pre-packed bag. And most interestingly, yeah, I got this, excited when I saw this one. This is the the exciting item we found. Yeah, so um, you know, we moved to um, 
Colorado from Illinois and we lived in the northern suburbs of Chicago. So obviously pretty close to Wisconsin and every grocery store you went to basically sold this stuff. This is the first time I had seen it since we moved here. So package, of course I had to get it. But this package, when I first saw, I didn't think it's like a yeah, I didn't, item. Yeah, I didn't realize it was Kringle when I first looked at it because the packaging's a little strange. I, I, thought, I thought it was going to be like a Scandinavian flatbread or something. I but, know. This is just like Amazon delivery package yeah, to me. Yeah. Are you ready to open this up? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can see somebody already break that yeah, open. Yeah, yeah. Try to break that open. Wow, this is big. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Oops. Yep. Oh, 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 oh. Well, it's I'm, already broken. Now we have I'm to cut it. I'm broken this thing. We have to cut it now. All right. Oh, I can smell the almond. Mm hmm. Mm, cool. Cut it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh yeah. Good? Yeah, it's really good. 